I see you have really settled down to business. We didn't do it, officer. It's a lie. We'll go quietly. The dishes! Now! The lug. But don't let them upset you, boys. This club is going to be a great financial success. Not only that, but we'll make some money, too. Yeah, then we can retire. Danny's a great guy. And we've got to do everything right to help him. You said it! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Looking for somebody, sister? Yes. Mr. Danny, well, you see, I'm a singer and I'd like to try out for a job. Well, just go around front and ask for Mr. Danny Warren. Oh, well, I did, but there's a big... I mean, the door's locked. Oh, yeah, we keep it locked on the kind of process service. Oh. Well, I wouldn't know about that, but I do know that I need a job very badly. I'm broke and... Okay, sis. We'll help you. Right this way. Mr. Warren will be in there. Yeah, he'll listen to you sing. Oh, thanks. You just don't know what you're doing. Ah, oh, that's nothing. And something tells me you got something for Mr. Warren, too. Yes, yes, I have. Careful now. Oh, let me out of this madhouse. What happened? There. Never mind that lug. I told you to see the boss. Thanks, but I've had just about all of this place I can stand. Say, what's going on in here? It's okay, Danny. Are you Danny Warren? That's right. Oh, here. A process server. Wise guy. Here, go get that girl. We're busy. You heard me. Drop everything and go get it. She is, boss. Watch out. She's a little wild. I'm sorry we had to do it like this, but I wanted to talk. Oh, you did? Well, Mr. Caveman, you're just a few hundred years late. They don't drag women around anymore. Well, I'm sorry, but you'll have to forgive the boys. They're a bit impetuous. Well, careful. There's a lady here. Well, now that you've got me, what are you going to do? Well, what would you suggest? Oh, letting me name my own torture. You're a funny kid. You come in here and hand me your own eviction notice, and now you're treating me as though I was tearing you apart. Eviction notice? Yes. Why didn't you tell me about it? Well, I... I didn't... Well, Moose here tells me that you're in this morning looking for an audition. Yeah. Would you still like to try? I'd love to. Okay, go on over to see Eddie. He'll take good care of you. Dishes. Was it all right? Of course you were all right, honey. Well, don't keep the girl standing there. Say something. Oh, oh, hello, Marie. Not bad at all. I'm quite sure I can find a spot for you in the show. Oh, thank you. Well, kid, you're in. Uh, first discovery. Excuse me, will you please? I'd like to talk to you. We're going over there, and if you'd like to hear what we say, you can all come and sit in our lap. 
I'll see that you get a typewritten transcript of the conversation. But we can't read. The dishes. <laughs> we just come in to say good night. What happened? The poor kid is weak from lack of food. She fainted. You men get out of here. I'll put her to bed. If you hadn't looked at her, she'd have never fainted. <laughs> 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 All right, break it up, break it up. Moose, go fix Carol some breakfast. Carol? Carol? I mean, Miss Lawrence. I'm going to see if she's awake. You heard what the boss said? Yeah, for you to get the breakfast. He did, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Come in closer, boys, while I explain. Now, you heard what the boss said. Oh! Oh! Mm -hmm. Kitchen! Mm -hmm. And prepare a breakfast fit for a princess! Mm -hmm. Why don't you mugs be careful? Oh, that's all right, Mo. It wasn't their fault. I wasn't looking where I was going. Oh, that's nothing. It's, it's just So you a... tried to put the finger on Danny, eh? You, the kid we trusted like she was our own sister. Maybe better, even. Oh, no. I was at first, but not Wait at... Wait a minute. What goes? She's got an attachment for Danny. I knew it. I could see it was love at first sight. <laughs> Quiet, featherbrain. <laughs> it ain't that kind of an attachment. She's a process server. A what? what? Oh, please let me explain. I did start out to serve Danny with this paper, but after you were so kind to me and I met Danny, I just couldn't. Sounds good. Oh, you've got to believe me. I wouldn't do anything to hurt Danny. Here, I'll prove it to you. Now, are you convinced? You stack up okay with us. She sure does. I'll say. Oh, you don't know how happy this makes me. I could kiss all of you. Receive. Line forms on the right. Right, 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 right. right, right, right. Oh. Hmm. Say, this looks like a swell game. Can I play, too? Boys, I'm still worried about those process servers. You better check all the doors. Yeah, well, check all the doors, Danny. Come on, fella. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Well, Larry, you take 9 and 10. Mo, 11 and 12. Curly, 14 and 15. Now go to your stations. Oh. Hal. Well, Moose, good evening. see you. How's the chest for you? Oh, this is wonderful. Shall we dance first? I don't mind. Fine. What's the idea? Who are you? I'm the fellow you asked to dance. How dare you? Oh, superstitious, eh? Well, of all the... Presenting Connie Boswell. And I'll have roast turkey. Don't do it. Take the roast beef. It's rare and... I want roast turkey. Oh, but the roast beef is delicious. We're throwing in an extra potato today. I don't like roast beef. Oh, you don't, eh? Do you realize what a cow gives up? Do you both realize what a cow gives up just so you can have a little piece of roast beef? I don't care what sacrifices a cow makes. Do I or don't I get roast turkey? Now, let me put it to you another way. You have a kind face. A cow hasn't got a chance. All she lives for is just so you can have some roast beef. Stop it, stop it. You make me feel like a murderer. Head waiter, come here. What's the trouble, son? I demand this insolent waiter be replaced. But what did he do, sir? What did he do? I want roast turkey. He insists I have roast beef. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Why, you dumb flat. What's the matter with our roast beef? Bring them roast beef. <laughs> They'll have to give better service than this, or this place will close. I should say so. We've been sitting here more than half an hour. Waiter. It's about time you got here. Do you realize we're waiting for you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's have something to eat. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Thank you. What is the meaning of this? You asked me to have something to eat. Don't be ridiculous. John is just so humiliating. Everybody's looking at us. Will you take our order, or do I have to send for the manager? All right, all right. What'll you have? A menu. A what? A menu. I wanted to see what you had to eat. I didn't eat yet. A menu that you read from. Oh, a menu that you read from. We have onion soup, duck a compre, with kidneys, Romanoff, and mancini cherries. We can read. Oh, it's sure. What impressed me. Yeah. 
thank you. And thank you. Oh, that's the same one. It is. Yay. Well, uh... I didn't know. Never mind, dear. Let's dance. Hey, fellas, look. A wise guy. Keep your eye on him, Larry. Just a minute. Looking for someone, chum? I want to see my son. Oh, you want to see your son? He's a yeah. process driver, all right. Hey! Hey! What? Hey! What? Stop it! <laughs> hey! Why are you with this man? Gentlemen, I'm terribly sorry, sir. What happened? He's a process driver. Come on. Come on. Out you go. Come on. And don't come back. What am I saying? It's me. Take your dirty paws off me. Listen, I have influence. This time I'm going to break every last one of you. Oh, show a button on it, pal. What's going on? Why these hoodlums have... This guy got drunk inside the club and tried to break things up. That's a lie. I tell you, it's a lie. Stop yelling. I yell yeah, if I feel like it. See, just a noisy drunk. Yeah, he's reeking with liquor. Come on. You, you mean you were going to arrest me? That's a very good guess. Let's go. Well, wait a minute. No. Nice work, gentlemen. I congratulate you. Thank you. Oh! Get inside, you hoodlum. Hey, I'll tell you. Anything else? No, thanks. Oh, say, Mo, by the way, thanks for taking care of that process server last night. It was a pleasure, boss, a great pleasure. You know, that guy had nerve enough to say he was your father. Oh, no. What's the matter, boss? Now I know why my father didn't come back to say hello last night. I don't know how many more tricks he has left, but he'll certainly use them all. Don't worry, boss, they won't get by us. Oh, gentlemen, time to... Oh, my watch, huh? Oh, I left it in the kitchen. Will you get it, Mo? Oh, sure, sure. Yes, Larry. What are you looking for? A watch. A, a watch. watch? Yeah, it went down the drain pipe. That was Moose's watch. He'll murder us. You better go and get it quick. I can. Oh, yes, you can, because you're going right down that pipe after it. Come on. Wait a minute. Come on, get up here. Down, get up. Down. Hello. Pardon me, boy. Hello? Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. Positively. Wrong number. I'll have that guy's phone taken out. Curly? Larry? Yeah? Third dimension. Larry, how you doing? I ain't found it yet. Well, don't come up until you do find it. Okay. Hello. Who is this? This is Curly. Where are you? Down the cellar. Did you find a watch? What watch? See this? What? Oh! Oh! Larry? Yeah? Hurry up. It's awful dark down here. Keep your shirt on. I can't see a thing. Well, you better hurry up before Moose comes back. Uh, if you think you can do any better, get down there yourself. Quiet. I can't hear a thing. Look in the little dark corners. What? Mm -hmm. Why Did you, you find my watch? It went down the drain. You put it down the drain pipe? Well, you'll get down and get it or I'll skin your life. Come on. Oh, easy, folks, easy. Get the way. Get a wrench. A wrench? Monkey, don't be personal. Get going. And when I get back, you better have to watch. I don't just grab a wrench. Get started! <laughs> The watch must be caught in that trap. Come on, give me a hand. Get up there. Hup. Hup. 
Oh, easy now. Hey! Oh. Ah. Ah. No. Don't be impatient. No, we didn't find it yet, Moose. A little leak started in the cellar, we had to fix that first. But listen, Mo Moose is on his way down here and he's plenty sore. Curly, did you find it? No! Hey, Larry! It ain't in here. What are you guys doing in there? I got to... Why are you on a... What are you thinking about? A clipping over your head? You flat-headed, flat-chested, flat-footed, don't die on... Here they are. Oh, thank you, Curly. Oh, you're such a dog. <laughs> Hmm. Looking for somebody? Yes, Mr. Warren. Well, you can't see him, eh? I have something for him. Something for the show. As a matter of fact, he's waiting for it. Yeah, what is it? A song. A song? What's the name of it? I have an attachment for you, baby. Sounds hot. I bet you that'll send him. Oh, it will. You wait here. I'll see if I can get Mr. Warren. Don't move. That's a coincidence. Look who I brought. Well, you did all right, Dad. All the time I was getting ready to open this club, you had a process server working here ready to serve an attachment on me. What process server? Carol. She brought the man in here to serve the papers. Not only did her take all the credit, I brought him in. How'd you like it? How'd I like now, it? Now, wait a minute. If Curly brought him in, then Carol had nothing to do with it. And as far as this club is concerned, I suppose it is more fun than the utilities business, Danny. Oh, gee, Dad, you're swell. And Marie, Yes, you... I know. I'm wonderful. Now, get going.